Dubai is drug addicted bisexual crown prince. The 2010 disclosure of various U.S. diplomatic cables by WikiLeaks and several other news outlets unearthed the dirty little secrets of various royal families all over the world. Perhaps no one royal emerged more embarrassed by this U.S. State Department security breach than Crown Prince Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum of Dubai, still considered among the world's handsomest and most eligible prince. Uh, WikiLeaks exposed documents written by American diplomats stating that the heir to the Dubai throne was an outcome an out-of-control drug addict that had been in and out of rehab for years and that he's a bisexual party boy that enjoys flying in male and female escorts to his father's desert kingdom for weekend orgies. According to the December 2, 2012 post, drug addicted Dubai Crown Prince Hamdan following the usual footsteps of the Arab royal family posted on the blog the Muslim issue worldwide. Within a few days of the cable's disclosure, they were removed from WikiLeaks website, which to this day makes them the only documents concerning a member of a royal family to have been successfully expunged from their database. This is apparently but one example of the drastic measures the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of Dubai is willing to take in order to salvage the reputation of his favorite son and designated heir. Born the second son in the family that currently contains 23 children, Prince Hamdan was declared his father's successor in 2008. Dubai is something of a geopolitical anomaly. While most people presume it's either a sovereign nation or city state, is technically neither. Instead, Dubai existed as a semi autonomous kingdom or em emirate within a federation of such kingdoms known as United Arab Emirates, founded. In early 70s, the, the king of Abu Dhabi is its hereditary president, whereas the king of Dubai serves as the hereditary vice president. Dubai is both the name of the kingdom and the capital city. Crown Prince Hamdan, who wrote uh, poetry in his uh, spare time under the pen name Faza, and also likes to spend his free time engaging in various daredevil sports, has a generally favorable reputation within his father's emirate. Though certain eccentries of his highness character and lifestyle have been noticed but are really commented on by his countrymen, some are more in interesting rumors that have been made their way to the author's ear blowing from the general direction of Dubai concerning Prince Hamdan's private line included that privately he doesn't consider himself gay or straight but prefers to label himself as sexual. He prefers for his friends, family and lovers to call him Faza. He possess a large and eccentric menagere of wild pets that include at least one white tiger and four alligators. He's friendly, charming and down to earth and that is merit and procreating little brothers are jealous of him and eager to use his continued self-chosen bachelorhood as a means by which to talk their father into disinheriting Hamdan and designating one of them as successor. Needless to say, Sheikh Mohammed appears willing to allow his heir to indulge in his private lifestyle and generally looks the other way concerning Hamdan's voices. This is a particularly fortuitous circumstances for Crown Prince for Dubai's laws concerning homosexuality and drug use are as draconian and potentially life terminating as those of their fellow Arab Muslim neighbors. According to the Muslim issues last post concerning Dubai's air apparent, he had just finished his latest rumored stint in some presumably European rehab and after several months of having disappeared from public view that now resume his role as his Desert King's primary diplomatic specs model. While undoubtedly spoiled and self-indulgent, Crown Prince Amdan appears to be a privately liberal and forward-thinking young man who will hopefully advance the cause of civil liberties in his kingdom should he survive to inherit his father's throne. One can always hope.